Most people think God is dead. But he's not. I found him. He's in my pocket. I haven't told anyone. This is my secret. And everything's gonna be okay now. We used to live somewhere nice, by my nan. We only moved here when mum got sad. Nan said she would always be with me and that I just had to follow the signs. I don't really know what she meant. I miss her though. to quarrel is so crazy Tonto Drita, Tonto Dra Pretty girls are always lazy Tonto Drita, Tonto Dra Oi, 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 oi How my little head is aching Oi, 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 oi Oh, the trouble I am making Sometimes I sneak into this place called church. It's warm, quiet and empty. This is where I found God. No one else knew he was there, but I saw him looking straight at me. He was hiding by the altar, and I knew it was him straight away. I caught him in a cook's matchbox, and he seems quite happy. My nan said that God is in everything, from the biggest elephant to the smallest spider. 
and he's always there for people who need him most. I promise to feed him every day, and I already know what he likes to eat, because I looked it up on the internet. I tried talking to him, but I think he's shy, which is weird. I mean, it's not like I'm a stranger or anything. He bloody made me. Maybe he can't understand me, but he must do. He's God. I've got a million questions in my head, but he looks tired, so I'll leave it till later. I got up at half five just to make sure God was still there. I opened the matchbox really carefully in case I woke him, but he was already awake. Maybe God doesn't sleep. Maybe he can't, because he has to look after all the Australians. I stared at God for a few hours, but then I felt poorly and fell asleep. When I got him from school, Mum was drunk again and had been in my room. God was missing. He wasn't in his box. I asked her if she'd seen God, but she said there's no such thing as God and started crying. I looked under my bed and everywhere, but I couldn't find him. What am I going to do now? It's nearly four o'clock in the morning and God is back. He's just woken me up. He ran across my face and tickled my lip. He must have had some important business somewhere else in the world. But he's back and that's the important thing. I couldn't get back to sleep, so me and God watched the sun come up. I asked him where yesterday goes, but he just stared at me. There must be millions. I took God to school today, and because I knew he was in my pocket, I didn't care about anything. It's my birthday today. No one noticed. But I don't care, because I saw an angel in the clouds. She smiled down on me, and I think she was thanking me, looking after God. That was better than a hundred birthdays. I don't think God likes his matchbox. It's too small for him. I'm sure he likes to stretch his legs. But I can't risk it. He might run away. And I need him more than ever at the moment. Anyway, I made him a house out of an old shoebox. I put in a little bed and made him a cross out of paper clips. He settled in straight away. And I'm sure he likes it. Mama's friends over again. So me and God sat up until 4.30 this morning listening to them. Me and God sat in silence. There was no need to say anything because we knew exactly what each other was thinking. I ask God why mum drinks and does she love me, but he just looked at me as if I should already know. <laughs> mum didn't get any food in again. I asked her for some money and she hit me. Why doesn't God change mum? 
Maybe he wants to make me stronger. I'm sure God has a reason for everything that happens. The more I think about it, I wish I never found God. I thought he'd help, but it's just made things worse. Nana's in heaven because she died three years ago. I asked God if Nan's happy, but I don't think he knew. He doesn't seem to know that much, really. There must be somewhere I can get the answers from. I'll Google it tomorrow at school. Nan loved bingo. I hope they have bingo in heaven because Nan will get really bored if they don't. If they do, I wonder what prizes they have. I don't think there's any money in heaven. And Nan always said there are no pockets in a shroud. Decided not to look at Nan's Bible anymore. I couldn't find any answers. It was just full of stories. Mum's been smacked in the face, I think. I saw some blood. She was crying and saying my name. I ignored her. I asked God why she's like this. But all he did was look at me with his stupid eight eyes. He's got no answers. I threw God across the room. And then I felt really guilty. My evil. Is that why Mum's unhappy? Because of me? God is dead. I forgot to feed him. I forgot all about him. I didn't know what to do, so I flushed him away. It's been raining ever since he died. I'm scared the rain won't stop and the whole world will flood because I killed God. Mum is much better these days. She has special tablets. She even asked me why I look sad. I started crying and told her everything that had happened. And she laughed at me and said that I couldn't have killed God because there's no such thing as God. Mum said God was invented like Father Christmas to make people behave themselves. She said there is no heaven and hell is right here on earth. feel so lonely, like the only person left. I don't sneak into church anymore. I walk right past. I don't go to school either.